Hi everyone and welcome back to another tutorial, uh, Employee Payroll Management System, it's part 21. And this tutorial I'm going to show you how to update um, an employee uh, basic salary. Uh, you can update it by a percentage or by an amount. Um, so, yeah. So we go, we're going to go here, we're going to right click, new, uh, G-Frame form. And we're going to name it. Um, update salary. Finish. Right. So we need the search bar. So we're gonna search for the employee by the ID. So we will drop a label here, just like that. And then we're gonna have a text field. Gonna do it like that. And we're gonna rename this to employee ID. Uh, we're going to remove the text here and then we're going to need to display the information about the employee that we're going to increase uh, his or her salary so we're going to need um, the employee ID here and let's say the first name the surname and then here uh, we should date of birth, for example, and the basic salary, obviously, and the uh, department. So we're going to say employee ID. We're going to say first name. surname and here we're going to say date of birth and then basic salary and the department and we're going to drop off our text fields here uh, we'll make it There you go. Alright, so we're going to remove the uh, text phase here. Uh, we're going to do this. Oops. Right, do this here. Alright. So uh, now we'll need um, two radio buttons and a label. So here's the label and the radio buttons right there is one and there is two and we're going to rename this to update salary by and then here we're going to say percentage and, this. and here we're going to say Amount. And now we need two two uh, two labels and two boxes. So we're gonna say like that and like that. So uh, let's make it like yeah, one fifteen is good. So just delete that. I'm gonna do one fifteen, right? So we're going to rename this to 
percentage and this one to amount and uh, remove this and now we need we need a button so uh, just throw a button here just like that let's just do this I'm going to rename it to update. And there you go. So, right. So now what we're going to do, um, we're going to write our code uh, search for the employee by the ID and we're going to display it um, in here and then we're going to write the code when I click on update it's going to update our database based on the percentage or the amount so first we're going to do we're going to right click here and we're going to say properties and we want we don't need editable so we're going to do this so we can't edit anything here. Just do this. Right click properties and tick off. Right click properties and then tick off. Right click properties. There you go. Right. So we're going to right click here, events, key, key released. And here. Just right here. We're gonna write our code to search for the employee. So but first we're gonna do something we're gonna rename these. So just we're gonna um, change variable txt id uh, let's say imp id for example and here we're gonna say uh, text first name tag surname tag dob tag um, salary tag dip department whatever Um, so now what we're going to do is rename these. So we're going to do R percentage, the R for the rate of button. So we're going to change this to R um, <coughs> amount. And this to uh, TXT D1 and TXT D2. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is um, I'm just going to go here, right click events, key, key released here, again so uh, we're going to write our code so we're going to say try uh, we're gonna catch exception A and we're going to say uh, J option pane dot show message dialog null and e and here we're going to say finally uh, try and then catch exception a There you go. So, and here we're going to say string SQL equals select all from staff information where ID equals whatever. Uh, there you go, string here. Uh, there you go. 
So uh, we we'll say PST equals con dot prepare statement SQL. And we're going to say PST dot set string, uh, let's say one, and txt search dot get text. I forgot something here, so we're gonna, what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the design, and right click, change name txt to search, and then you're going to come back here. Don't worry about the errors, I'm going to fix them, just wait for it. <laughs> rs uh, equals psd dot execute query. I'm also going to have all the code in the description box below, so you can just copy paste it if you don't want to write stuff. Add one equals rs dot get string. And then we're going to get the ID and we're going to set the imp ID set text to add one. And then now you're going to copy paste it. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to change it to add two, add three add 4, add 5, and then add 6. And then here, you're going to change it to first name. Surname DOB and then salary and then finally department. And then you're going to change these here. See, text uh, first name txt surname <coughs> and your txt dob txt salary finally txt uh, department so you're gonna go in here and you're going to say rs.close and then psd.close now you're going to scroll up you're going to go here and you're going to say connection con equal null and here you're going to say result set rs equals null and then here you're going to say prepared statement psd equals null and I'm just going to do this import 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 and then you're going to go here under initialize components and you're going to say con equals db dot java underscore db and that's it and then you're going to scroll down here and you're going to save and then you're going to do this alright so now you're going to save it don't forget that. Anyways, so now um, we we can test it. So what we're gonna do we're gonna just go to, to our check our database. There is this. We got staff information. We got three records here. So we're gonna right click here, run, and search by the ID. Say five. Say five. I'm not getting any results, so we're going to try to fix that. Okay, so I found the error. So uh, we forgot to change these. So what you're going to do is you're going to say this is one, so this is one, so this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, 
and this is six. There you go. So you're gonna save that. Now you're gonna run the you right click and run it again. So if we search for let's say here in the database five, just copy. Say five. There you go. Everything is here. All right. So you're gonna close that. You're gonna go back.